after a careful consideration of the court order and in line with section 45 subsection 2 of the constitution of the PDP as amended in 2017, the NWC resolved that the Deputy National Chairman North, His Excellency Ambassador Omar Ilya Damagum, assumes the national chairmanship of our party in acting capacity. Embattled chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Dr. Iyoche Ayu, who has been in the eye of the storm for months following calls for his resignation by some leaders of the party. Led by the governor of River State, Yes Wike, the G5 or Integrity Group had first demanded that Ayu steps aside as party chairman in May last year due to the emergence of Atiku Abubakar, a northern candidate, as the presidential flag bearer of the party. Iyocha Ayu from Benue State in North Central Nigeria was urged to go as both key positions of presidential candidate and national chairman could not be held by the North. Ayu had insisted that changing the leadership of the party could be detrimental to its outing during the general election at hand. With the PDP not only losing the presidential election, it also lost some PDP states, including Benue, where the embattled chairman hails from, making the calls for Ayu's ouster to even get louder. On Sunday, a section of the PDP ward executive in Igorev ward of Boko local government area of Benue State suspended Ayu, accusing him of working against the success of the party in the state. We observe with utmost dismay that Dr. Euchi Ayu, who is the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP work against the sources of the party in Igaro Council War. It is on record that he has also failed to pay his annual subscription. But in a statement by his media aide Simon Imobe Swam, Ayu had argued that his word executives lacked the powers to suspend him as only the National Executive Committee of the party, the second highest decision-making organ of the party, has the powers to suspend him. But with a purported suspension, Ayu joins a list of PDP leaders to be accused of anti-party activities after the general elections, as only days before, former Senate President and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Ayim Pius Ayim, former Governor of Ekiti State, Ayo Fayoshe, Senator Chimaro Namani, amongst others, had been suspended as well. But as if the suspension was not enough, it was later followed by a Makordi High Court interim order restraining Ayu from parading himself as the national chairman of the PDP. The court was presided over by Justice Wilfred Bochi. On Tuesday, some stakeholders of the party from Benue State arrived at the national headquarters of the party to pass a vote of confidence on the leadership of Ayu and disown the earlier suspension which led to the court ruling. Igoro PDP World Executive Committee hereby passed vote of full confidence on Senator Dr. Yochi Ayu and we also pledge our full support for his pragmatic leadership style. This will eventually not matter or have any effect as Ayu was replaced barely an hour after by the Deputy National Chairman North, Omar Ilya Damagum. The National Publicity Secretary of the party announced that Damagum will assume office as the acting National Chairman of the party pending the determination of the case in court or setting aside of the interim injunction. The National Working Committee charges all leaders, critical stakeholders, teaming members and supporters of our great party to remain calm and united at this critical time. On his part, the National Acting Chairman says a meeting of the National Working Committee will soon be converged to review the current situation. And when asked by Arise News about the gale of suspensions and a way forward, he promised to review what is on ground. As a party, we are prone to reconciliation. That thing you are asking of already is on my mind. We will review it. I've already spoken. Uh, we'll have a meeting, NWC meeting tomorrow, and in that meeting we'll discuss it, and there will be a possible review of whatever has happened. 
It is left to be seen if Iochayu's stepping aside will be enough to calm frayed nerves within the party, as those who had been calling for Ayo's removal continue to insist that the chairman of the party must come from the south for equity and fairness. Amaka Ude Walker, Arise News.